Hey guys, it's Ryan with My Listing Club. Today we had a question come into our Facebook group regarding creating custom headers for My Listing websites with Elementor. So I thought I would do a one of my My Listing Q&A videos to, just to answer the, the question from that person. Um, so there's two ways we're gonna go about it in this video. One of, one of which is if you are a club member and you wanna download a pre-made template, or you are not a club member and you just want to create it from um, the elementary side of things using maybe one of their templates or building from scratch. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. Um, from the My Listing Club website, you can find the templates by going to Menu, My Listing Resources, Templates, and doing a search. And then just you can do a search in here for the word header. You can also uh, do it by category, selecting over here by the right, this drop down. So you can choose uh, header in here. Okay, so we're going to choose the VOW header. That's the, the latest starter site. Um, so we're going to just pull this down. Okay, now we're going to jump over to this, the testing site. I'm going to refresh this. So here we see the default looking, uh, you know, this is the, the header that you're used to seeing with my listing out of the box. So we're going to replace that in this video. So let's jump into the back end of this site. We're going to go to templates import templates and we're going to choose the file that we just downloaded and we're going to import that in next thing we're going to do we're going to edit edit that template with elementor and you can change you know now that it's in there you can change it do whatever you want um so we're just, we'll just change the color of the text um yeah we'll just do that for now and when you click the update update button here it's going to ask you where you want to display this template and we're going to go ahead and just say apply it to the entire site so we choose entire site save and close now let's jump back to our home page and we'll make another tab here so just like that we've assigned a custom template um, to our my listing site um, now what you can do if you want is you can jump back in here and click on the near the update button again, click on the save options, you know, the save options icon there and choose display options again, display conditions. And we'll change this instead of saying entire site, maybe we'll say uh, it applies to a specific page. So uh, let's just do it to our front page. Actually, let me find a, another page that I know exists here. Um, let's do it to this author's page. All right, that's all right, because that's already to the, okay, so we're going to change this to, uh, we're not going to assign it. So let's refresh our author's page. So now it's back to having that default my listing header. So now let's jump back in here. Let's do our display conditions. Let's assign it only to that page, to our author's page. So include singular pages, pages, and then we're going to choose author and save so now when i refresh this author's page it should have our custom template okay just like that uh, it's that easy now if you're to browse to the actual home page you'll see that it has it still has the old header so there you go just like that um, okay so the next thing i want to show you is if you're not a member of the club or maybe you are a member of the club and you just want to you just want a different template uh, or do one on your own. So let's just see how that looks. We're going to jump back in here and we are going to go to templates again, and we are going to do it add our own uh, template type is going to be header, and we'll just name it our header. Create template. And we'll just choose any of these from, you know, if you have pro, all of these are going to be available to you. So we'll just pick one of these. Uh, we'll go with this blue in here. We're going to click insert. Okay. And we're going to click publish. Again, we're going to get hit with that display conditions. We're going to choose entire site and save. Okay. So let's create another tab here. Okay, so just like that, we now have 
our custom header, and that's on the entire site. So those are the two options you can go. Um, on more of the advanced side, I think I think what, what's going to come from this video is going to produce additional questions. Uh, and by that, I mean, how do we customize it to have every component of the my listing header that's in there? Well, that, that also depends on the, um, how the, how the my listing site is built. So let me go back in here. I'm going to take this header off. So when we see it, we see up here in the top, right, we've got things like the user, um, and we've got direct messaging. So let's just take the direct messaging, for example. So how do we bring the direct messaging into a, a custom header? So let's, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on that element and inspect it. And then we're going to find the HTML for that. Okay. So by doing that, you just drill down in through here until you find where that HTML is coming from. And here it is right here. And you can right click on it and say, how do you know it is? It's when you start seeing things like, that's, that's kind of hard to explain, I guess, but it's not really just CSS related. So it's like CSS, CSS, but you get into here and you see things like data toggle equals, you know, then you start to know that it's, a little more than just CSS, and that's how you know where your HTML is at. So if I right click on this, edit as HTML, and now you're just gonna grab all of that content. So that's gonna grab um, everything that has to do with your HTML, it's gonna grab the CSS that goes along with it, everything. So we're gonna copy that. So just Control C or right click and copy. Let's go back into our header, our custom header. And we're gonna take out this phone number, but we're gonna drop in the HTML widget. And we're gonna paste in that code that we copied from inspecting that page. So there's all of our code. Oh, and this actually has a little bit more in it. This is, this is getting the, um, might have copied the wrong thing here. Oh, this is this is actually okay. So let's do. Let me move this one over here. Bear with me just a second here. I'm gonna get rid of this some of this stuff. So let's move. Let's paste that one there. Okay. Let's go back to our site. Um, oh yeah, so I grabbed, what I did is I grabbed this. I grabbed the username and the avatar and stuff. So let's do this again, inspect. And then we're gonna go up one level here and grab this. So right click, edit with HTML, and let's grab all of this. Okay, so let's go back to our header. Let's go into this box now and replace this. Okay, I'm gonna actually take this column out, give us a little bit more. Well, there's gonna be some time to style, spend some time, you're gonna to need to spend some time styling this, this but um, this this will give you the idea. So, cause you gotta, you gotta right align all of this stuff. I mean, you can drag, we can do this, we can do some dragging um, for now, just to get this stuff over to the right. All right, let's go, let's go with this for now. You'll get the idea. All right, let's just go with that for now. Um, and we're going to go ahead and save. We're going to add that condition back. We're going to apply it to our entire site. Now let's go refresh our home page. Okay, so just like that, we've got a custom header with the elements from the, the default my listing header um, added to it. Um, but you can see it's not perfect yet, but um, you know, the messaging does work. Um, I'd have to dive into it a little bit further as, as to see why um, this menu isn't coming up. But you get the idea. It's everything is 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 possible to recreate um, from the my listing default header. You just got to work a little bit at it. Uh, maybe I'll do a guide or something or an, and another accompanying video for how to fully do that. Um, but anyway, this should get you guys started on the right track and uh, ho hopefully this helps.
Okay, talk to you later. Bye.